What is up guys, Boulder here, welcome back to some more Pokemon Conquest. Last time we did Gremlin number two, uh, Kiyomasa, if we're not worth fighting over it, and we're just gonna round it out, do Gremlin number three. Well, I honestly, M Masanori is probably, of the three, the one that doesn't actually look like a Gremlin. Um, he actually, out of the three, he's my favorite, just from the little bit we've seen. But not worth fighting over three. It is two star instead of one star. I'm not quite sure what the difference is gonna be. I guess maybe they're, you know, the first one, we let the power slip away from us. The second one, I kind of reined in everything. It was fine, I was able to grind it out, but getting it started really sucked with a Larvitar and a Wooper. Um, and maybe, Masanori might be a, it, an issue because he starts with a Scorapy. So your choices are either Scizor or Larvitar. I don't know. But I do know. Um, because of how just doing the first two, there all the all the trainers that pop up have pretty much been the exact same. So I'm not going to be grinding things out. So we'll probably get this done very quickly. A lot lower level than we have the first two. Uh, or lower power, I should say. Some trivial matter has called Mitsunari, Kiyomasa, and Masanori to argue. Unable to resolve their differences, the three went their separate ways, each to a different kingdom. That was not to be the last... That was not to be the last they would see of each other, however. So I somehow became warlord of the Fontaine place. And it looks like those two are the warlords of Ignis and Greenleaf. I'll show those Brainiacs who's boss. I'll show them I was right. <sighs> oh, he's got such good faces. Oh, Wooper. Or maybe, maybe I had it wrong. I don't know. A Wooper though. Okay. So, I guess, yeah, starting is gonna be... Well, how do I say that? No, we could probably take Kiyomasa like immediately. Because we have Wooper, who's times four. Uh, and Scorapy... Well, I guess, let's have a look at Scorapy first. But I'm pretty sure... Scorapy has a Poison-type move? Uh, he has po oh, Poison Jab, not Poison Sting, Poison Jab! Okay, Battle Armor can't be crit. Uh, may poison the target. What is his personal? Impact makes enemies flinch. For three turns. Okay, Mori Chica with the Wooper here. Um, Eagle Eye. I could have swore Mori Chica. I thought I got a perfect link for him that wasn't Wooper. Maybe I was waiting. I gotta check something. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. I have it. his perfect link is Oshawa. I have that, but it's not on him. Why? Okay. Strange. Maybe it'll pop up after we like conquer something or after we go to the next month. All right, let's just let's just jump into Greenleaf. He both of his power is the lowest it can be. Ours is slightly up in neutral. Let's do it. 2v2. Yeah. Victor's gonna fall straight into our outstretched arms, just like that. Now... This was control banners, and there's three banners on a 2v2. <laughs> so we don't actually have to kill anything. I don't know which way they're gonna go, though. Okay. Uh, and our, our range isn't great. Hmm. I guess let's just go forward for now. Are they gonna split? Or, cause I know one of them, the monkey can go teleport immediately. It did not, interesting. Okay, are they gonna go straight left then? Which helps me. Like I can just travel it down, and we can have a fight over by the left flag. 
Unless the monkey makes a turn. Oh, okay. That's what we're doing. Sure. Now hopefully... Morichika his eagle eye. Okay, they've, they've claimed the banner. But who, wait, who claimed it? The Pan Sage claimed it. Okay, so Larvitar is going to come after me. Which Rock Tomb we need to be afraid of. Uh, is that safe right there? No. Safety is right here. Okay, and then Wooper. Wooper can be attacked, but we should be fine, especially if he misses. Six, the range down is annoying, but it's fine. Right, Pan Sage. Because of how the AI has worked on this map, Pansage is not gonna move. Uh, now Scorapy can't actually help in the fight, unfortunately. 16. Okay, yeah, that two hit from Wooper. Hell yeah. I swear if we lose because of that. Because he does how much? He didn't attack me. Why? Now we do 18. Oh wait, I think I know. Is he gonna teleport over to Scorapy? Ah, his fucking heal. That's another reason why, like, him, he, he was such a problem. As an enemy, because his heal, he just bulked up over and over and over. All right, now I believe he his AI is probably going to prioritize the banner. So I think it's safe for Scorapy to warp back over here. All right. Now I think at this point, our fear is turn counts. But 100%. Barvatar down. All right, Scorapy go that way. And I really hope we don't lose because of turn counts. Because that's ours. We can attack Poison Jab from behind. 55 damage! Oh my, okay. <laughs> so there we go. Oh, you're quite a fighter, aren't you? Can't hope to compete. All your enemies have been defeated. Now claim all the banners. Uh... Okay. We shouldn't, because now we can touch this. We warp right there. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Okay, yeah. Warp there. Wait. Uh, I'll go ahead and get some goodies. And the banner is ours. There we go. Okay. The battle's ours if it could have been anyone else's. Whew. Uh, and we get Pan Sage, which I don't, I think it's still gonna be a Pan Sage? It might not be. That might be someone we have a perfect link with. Oh, it's a Lilligant dude. Oh, hell yes. Yeah, that was the issue. We had Cottony. And then we got a whooper from the fight and neither of them were strong enough to do anything. 
Aha! Okay. Now, Lilligant doesn't help us against a Caesar, but Lilligant is very nice. Uh, I'm very confused by the fact that this, like, Oshawott situation. Why Morichika does not have Oshawott. Is it maybe because we were given him from the start and, like, Lilligant... We're able to switch to Lilligant because we recruited. So, like, if I were to get rid of Morichika and then re-recruit him, maybe he would... That's not the right... Well, I mean, let's let's go to the next month anyway, and then we'll go... We'll look at his info again. Oh, and you have a poison type. Okay. But, let's see. Info? Yeah, it's just gone. That's a shame. But that didn't, that didn't do that in Ignis, right? Cause that's, we, didn't we start with the perfect link? I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. All right, well I got rid of Morichika to see if he would pop back up real quick. He is not. Yeah, I don't know why his perfect link it's clearly in the gallery, but it's not on him. So whatever. Um, we're just gonna run in on Ignis right here, right now, before um, things get messy. Uh, we recruited, let's see, we have the Perfect Link Monferno and Pig Knight with us, that should be plenty. We have a Piplup and a Mareep with us. The Mareep should help with the Zubat if need be. Uh, and that should really... I mean, I could bring Machop. Let's see, 67. I'll bring Machop over the Piplup to help with the Bidoof. Just a super effective move. It's slightly better than the Piplup, uh, number-wise. So why not? And let's go ahead. Just gonna do everything here. I'm not gonna split between... Our enemy is also planning for victory. We must take them on fair and square. Now that's my dude. Do, do, uh, what was your name? It's like I don't have his perfect link. I don't actually know what it is, but I'm assuming because I don't have it, it was not something available in the immediate vicinity. I will lose the likes of you. Yeah, bet. Uh, now she gay. Let's see. Uh, and A O she gay. Uh, oh yeah, Braviary, which might be able with a with a leveled up Aurora, maybe. Because you can get Starly in there. I don't know about Rufflet. Okay. Well, the one bad thing about um, Monferno and Pig Knight is they both pretty much do the exact same thing. They're one away run up moves. So. Okay, you're about to come in here. You know what? End the turn. Just get closer. I have no reason, really, to come to you. Wing attack, not very effective, does a whole one damage. The one thing- well, actually, I think this Machop... Uh, oh, it's Guts. I was about to say, can I push? No. All right, well, 20 damage. Uh, okay, Pig Knight does more damage than Monferno. 20, or it was what, 13, five? I was trying to see. Okay. Now, of course, the thing is like, I don't want 31 <laughs> bodied. Let's go, Marie. Hmm. 
Um, and that's Takatora. That is uh, Chandelure, dude. You know what? We should be safe. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this to kill the Ekans. Oh, of course we crit Pig Knight. That's not helping. All right, and then Heat Crash. 34 damage as long as we don't miss the 94%. Hell yeah. Rolled down to a 32, that's plenty okay. Um. Now the one thing, X Scissor's really gonna hurt <laughs> because it's gonna hit Pig Knight and then spread over to Lilligant and be super effective. So that sucks, but it is what it is. Put my chop back here. Swarm's not active, but it still did 56 goddamn damage. Spirit. Oh, the... Oh, that ability! I don't think we've ever seen that come into play. In my hands or the enemies, honestly. Damn volcano RNG. Oh, stop that! 31 on... Fucking Christ. All right, well, Monferno, 42. I don't know what Climber does. When I was recruiting um, the Marie and a few other people during that fight, Climber just constantly showed up and I don't actually know what that does. So, uh, raises attack when Pokemon is below its target. This counts as below? I mean, I guess the... Well, does it look like it's dropping down? I don't, I don't know. But okay, cool. Uh, and then Machop. Hell yeah. Oh, and that was Go. Yeah, victory is ours! Okay, only a little again dying. Uh, okay, so... Go is... should be a Prinplup. So, oh, we're getting... we're getting some good stuff here. And we get Prinplup, Chandelure, and, uh... Yeah, Hidiaki is a Venipede. Uh, 100% Link, so... Just another Fire-type. But hell yeah. Oh wait, let me actually say, yeah, recruit them. Uh, and then put them all in Fontaine. And honestly, we can probably immediately go into Oichi. Because again, it's all the same trainers I've been using for the, for, for the first two. So if I can get their personal link, or personal link, their um, their perfect link, I have. Unless it was like in a situation, kind of like we're in right now. If that perfect link could come from Aurora, Aurora is the last one left, so doesn't really help me. But we'll save, and uh, I might move things around, and we'll get it going. Okay, quick and easy. Let's go, Oichi. Uh, I was like, I I just swapped go. Well, oh, go thirty. Oh, hold on, hold on. Why is Primplup so so weak? <laughs> Why are you starting so low, man? A six. I see. Okay, not a great. I should probably not bring you. I mean, you're not super effective against anything in there. I just like it's a Primplup. What could go wrong? A decent bit, seemingly. <laughs> um, and I guess we'll bring... Oh, we could bring Mareep again. It's 78. Monferno's 99. Monferno would also be good, but let's bring Mareep. A little bit, you know, type coverage. But okay. So we have Fire Spin, we have Leaf Petal, Leaf Petal, uh, Petal Dance. 
uh, and just other damage sorts, all should be fine. I really like the music here. All right. We did learn the logs can do damage. The most annoying part about this will be Oichi's personal. Healing up. And speaking of hitting things with logs. Oh, the back one moved first. If the four, uh, if the one in front moved first, that would have just straight up killed. That would have been great. Uh, okay. Drifloon's gonna be the most annoying because astonished flinching, and what do you know? I got flinched. Oichi, turn one used her. Okay. Ah. RNG for RNG. You flinch me and then you miss. Battle armor, no crits. I guess maybe that proc because it was showing it was going to crit? I don't know. 33. Speaking of flinching though, can we one shot? No. Wow, okay. Hmm. Well, score a P. Now, ooh, wait, you know what? Let's use impact. Guarantee that we flinch. And we got the poison. Oh wait, so did that overwrite the flinch? That might have, which is unfortunate, honestly. Um. This log is a problem. Let's do that. 32. Okay, I'm a chop. So 25. We'll attack here. With a crit! Let's go! So pig knight. Um five percent. Hmm. What? Let's do pig knight. Pig knight's gonna do a lot more damage. And Chandelure. There's a there's a good place for Chandelor to do its thing. I mean, I guess we'll just double up on the Igly buff. Well, actually, if we get all five, oh yeah 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 no. There was four. Okay. Don't flinch me again. Oh my god. And yeah, the poison overrode the flinch. That really sucks. But, at the very least, Mareep, about from the back. Not a whole lot extra. What is your, no, 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 what's your personal? Oh, he's defense, okay. Do we have any, like, attack buffs? Seemingly not. Now this is resisted, but it's still pedal dance. One. Two, can we get three? We got the three. Uh, and then... We can kill. As long as we don't get a super low roll. Got a high roll. All right, uh, Chandelure, before we move in Scora P. Oh wait, no, we want here. Yeah. 
do what you can from back here. A little bit of chip damage. And then... Oh, that's so close! And Pig Knight can't reach. Well, let me get rid of this lock. Well, actually, had I done that a different way, I guess... Well, Chandelure being where Chandelure was. So I could have maybe thrown a log into her and killed her. Uh, had I... Done things differently. But... 29 from the back. There we go. 26, even with the low roll. We got a way about you. The way you fight, incredible. Yeah, victory is ours! And there we go. Quick and easy. Can be recruited. It don't matter. Were any of them perfect link people? I think the Iggly buff might be. Uh, of course, Oichi. Oh, and actually, we were able to recruit Oichi. We killed her so fast. <laughs> um. Oh, and Cha Cha. Yeah, perfect link with Sinchino. Uchitsugu, no, but Chikayasu is Duwat, the other Oshawott trainer. Um, but I'm good. No need. Game's. Game's over. Yeah, I won! So I was right, I... Uh, um, uh, I forgot what we were arguing about. I knew you'd forget. It's embarrassing to even talk about it. We were arguing about who would go to buy the last Pony Gary in the shop. I wish I could forget as easily as you did. Why do you feel so scorned? Oh, that was it? Well, never mind. How about we go to Seaside? Yeah, that sounds good. I won't refuse. And the same picture... for the third time. After Masanori won the conflict, the three became friends once more. Although it was just a matter of time before they would fall out again. Is there a number four? It's like, we're doing three? What do you mean, matter of time? I guess just in general, you're gonna... They're, they're idiots, they're just gonna fight again over something dumb. But the other two made sense because there was more. I mean, I guess there still could be, right? So if we skip back to the title screen real quick. Save, yes. What unlocks from that? If anything. Because it could be like a, a dead end path that doesn't necessarily unlock anything. Nope. Nothing unlocked. All right. But there we go. The three idiots. Complete, not worth fighting over, three. Uh, all right, don't know what one we'll do next, since we were just kind of taking that on. Maybe Hideyoshi, because apparently Hideyoshi's a good one. I mean, it's like the first one on the list. Um, called Happily Every After. So it kind of sounds like something, uh, a, a decent one to start on right after you, you end the, the main story. Um, and from different comments of your guys, uh, that I've seen, Hideyoshi seems like a good one to grind perfect links. And Hideyoshi himself has a special code to, uh, to do, so I don't know that this one will be a one-episode thing. And it's showing the entire map, so it might be like a, a unite all map or... I don't know. Don't know what it'll be but it'll probably be a, at least two episode thing, maybe even three. That's gonna do it for me today. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye.